Hey guys, welcome to another video. So I just came back from school and got out of the shower. That's why my hair looks a little weird. And the reason why I'm starting this intro um, straight after I showered is because I actually have a piano lesson soon. Um, so today's actually the 3rd of June and I did a vlog last week and I believe it was, yeah, it was last week. And I actually wasn't planning to do a vlog this week, but then certain events happened and plans, um, and this week turned out to be quite exciting and eventful, so I thought I would just do a vlog on the next couple of days. Okay, um, so, um, a main part of my vlogs this week is about these letters that I'm actually giving away on Friday, and today's Wednesday, and, you know, I have some spare time tonight, so I thought that tonight, once I get back from my piano lesson, I would just, um bake them um some cheesecakes they're like oreo cheesecakes um i've made them once in my vlogs and then linked it so um i'll put a link to the recipe again in my description box but i'll also link that video up there um and the people i'm actually giving these to have been in my videos before actually they've just been in one um so sorry about this um and they actually don't know that I'm baking them cheesecakes and that I'm actually planning to give them anything else apart from the letters. So, surprise! Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm basically doing tonight and then they're quite simple and easy to make so it shouldn't take too long. But yeah, I, did, I think I'm going to make like two batches and then also give some to other people um, with the leftovers. And I'm honestly pretty excited to see them because I haven't seen them since I actually filmed that video they were in because that's when I met up with them, so in Jan. So I'm about to make cheesecakes and so I've laid out all my ingredients. You don't need that many for this recipe. And um, so I'm starting on this and while it bakes, I'm going to actually do my work. But I'm putting on Taylor Swift in the TV in the background, you can't really see. But yes. Um, so I'm listening to that while I bake and the first step is to um, you know, take the cream of Oreo cookies. So that's what I'm going to do before I crush them. Um, now I've just mixed um, the ground Oreos and butter and I actually put back some of the cream in here so I wouldn't have to use as much butter. So what I'm going to do now is put these in the paper cases just a little bit like, and then bake it um, for five minutes and while it's baking I'm actually going to um, mash these to make it like a little puree kind of that goes on top of the cheesecake once before it goes in the oven. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so right now it's actually 8.40 and I put the batch, the first batch in around 10 minutes ago and um, so it's in and actually I'm sitting at the dining table doing homework right now because I need to get some homework done um, but I also need to bake them and I actually forgot to vlog the, um, the first batch going in because, you know, um, I just didn't want to stay up too late baking because it's almost 9 o'clock. Um, so I'm trying to get them done as fast as possible. I probably have to do one more batch still. Um, but the thing about these cheesecakes is um, there's like some air bubbles in it. So I've tried tapping it, but not all of them come up, obviously. Um, so there's um, still some air bubbles in there that come up to the top while it's baking. And so yeah, so I'll show you the work that I'm working on right now. Okay, so I am actually working on some mats. It's some mats homework that I actually need to finish. And I've got, so I'm up to question 12. I obviously don't have to do every single question, but the questions I have yet to finish are here. So all of these ones in green um, that I need to do. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here doing work while waiting for my cakes to bake. Okay, so I just put out the first batch of cheesecakes. And apart from that one, they're all pretty light, like um, it didn't get split evenly and you can kind of see the air bubbles that I was talking about, that was an air bubble. Um, so all the dark spots are kind of air bubbles. Um, but actually when I was taking it out, I was using like um, the oven mittens and stuff, but I still, but my hand accidentally touched and you can actually see I bit myself there and I also bit myself up here. It doesn't hurt right now, but I'm assuming it'll hurt later, especially this one, because it looks pretty bad right now. So that's what I'm expecting. So yeah, these seem to be done. I'm just taking them out. So that's the first batch. I okay, so right now it's actually 
it's almost 11 and I've just finished um, baking everything. Um, I had six left over that I wasn't going to give away and just um, leave at home for um, my mom and my sister to kind of eat. I don't think I would really have one. I've eaten a lot of these because I've actually ba made it um, I think like three or four times. It's that it's now one of the recipes that um, you know, even without a recipe, I think I could just like kind of gauge how much of each thing I need and you know, whether I need more butter when making the um, base of it when I'm using the Oreos. Um, so it's kind of one recipe that um, I can just like use the measurements by eye and um, not really um, follow a recipe too strictly. Um, so yeah, that's um, basically all I've done for today. Oh, and one more thing to mention in the process of four hours of baking just to get all of those um, cakes, cheesecakes done. I gave myself a really good burn. I've never actually had a burn this bad. It blistered um, and you can see it's aligned because um, I was trying to take things out of the oven and then uh, my hand accidentally, accidentally hit the top of a rack. So yeah, it's burned and it's done it pretty well because it hurts. Um, yeah, and it's kind of formed that blister we think. Well, sorry if you don't want to see it, but yeah, that's what happened. Hey, so I literally just got back from school and um, yeah, today's the fourth, you know, I'm a bit busy today all over all. And I actually dropped uh, a few of, my, of the cheesecakes I made yesterday at my friend, at one of my friend's house. And I guess she likes it. She seemed to have liked it. I know she likes cheesecakes. Um, but I was actually looking at my burn today and a lot of people were like, it was a thing at school because it got pretty bad. It, you can see it kind of blistered up. Um, I mean, it hurts if you touch it, but other than that, it's fine. Um, this is the worst burn I've ever gotten, um, just because of how big it is. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I was actually going to vlog some things. But um, uh, tomorrow is quite an eventful day and I'm out with some people so um, I don't think I'll get a chance to vlog. I might vlog my friends reactions when I give them the letters and the remaining cheesecakes. And I also did get them some mochi so um, I'll, I might record their reactions if I do then I'll put it in the vlog sometime. If not then I'll just let you know how that goes. Um, but yeah I'm coming back late tomorrow night. Um, right now I just got to get some more homework done, um, just stuff like that, um, typical like school things. Um, but this week has been a little bit more chill because it's just revision and it's just, um, you know, moving on to a different kind of um, topics um, in the second half of the year. And this is usually the time where we have our exams, but obviously because of everything in remote learning we actually got our exams cancelled so we don't have to worry about them anymore I've just got to worry so about some upcoming assessments and that's about it and that's an update for me right now okay so I just finished getting some work done and um, it's 6.30 right now um, I thought I'd just relax for the rest of the day because it's been a really long week at school I don't know it's like revision week but just like certain things has happened at school that's just made me really drained personally and um kind of tired as well um so yeah definitely um exciting that this weekend is actually a long weekend because i don't have school on monday because it's the queen's birthday which is a public holiday and um i also don't have school next friday because it's report writing day for us um but what i'm actually gonna do is i am going to put these letters in my bag. I don't know if I want to keep them in this because I have to put a lot of other things in my bag. Um, like I've got to put a pair of shoes in there. Um, I've got to pack a pack of clothes because um, actually one of my friends is picking me up from school um, and just driving me straight to a house because she lives quite near the school and um, she needs to drive me somewhere. So. Um, yeah, so I'm meeting up with a couple of friends to give them this, so hopefully my bag will be lighter. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of things to bring to school, so I'm just gonna quickly pack them what I can. Okay, so right, so today is Saturday, and right now I am just drinking some tea. I was eating corn chips earlier, but I finished them. 
Um, so yeah, I'm actually drinking some. It's um, a pineapple and strawberry tea that one of my friends got me like ages ago. And I still haven't finished it. So I decided that since today was a bit cold, I would just warm myself up with some tea. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I've been working for a little bit and I just finished um, a part of my mats work. And so what I did is I did a chapter review, which is basically where you cover all the content that we've done each chapter because um, basically I have a test coming up in around three or four weeks and um, because we've finished covering the content, all we need to do is revision right now for the rest of the time. And so what I did was um, I had to update my summary book or my bound reference. So um, the teachers actually made these um, formula sheets for us. I'll show you a bit closer. But um, basically it has all the formulas and the um, meaning or like of what each investment loan and depreciation is, for example, an annuity is an investment that earns interest to provide a payment. Um, and so it has the definition of the financial thing. I don't know what you call it. Um, and it has all the formulas we need if we want to do it by hand. And we also have all the formula, um, all the formulas and all the um, things we need to type into our calculator so it's really easy to look at and it's really helpful because it just condenses all the information we need. Um, so that's basically what I'm working on. I mean, I'm taking this weekend kind of chill because um, we have a long weekend, This, um, so I don't have school on Monday. So that means I go back on Tuesday, but I also have Friday off, so um, school's going to be a three-day week. Plus, um, my year 12 class, which is the subject I'm working on right now, the classes are cancelled for that this week because um, the year 12s have assessment week um, to catch up with all the assessments that we had to do during remote learning because they have to redo it um, for it to be scored. Mine is actually next term, so I don't have to worry about that for a little bit. But um, this test on this topic for financial is actually at the end of the month for me. Um, so yeah, I had like some more work that I wanted to do that's planned, um, that I wrote down for this weekend in my planner. Um, but I'm thinking because next week at school is quite chill, so all the pink is actually, I either don't have school or don't have class. Um, so yeah, it's super chill next week. So I'm thinking if I can just like, um, kind of chill this weekend because I had a huge day yesterday and also, um, this week has just been really tiring for me. Um, so I just thought that I would just take it easy this weekend and, um, you know, do some work and kind of feel like I'm being productive, but also get a chance to kind of relax a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I think I'm just going to go and watch some things on Netflix or, um, yeah, watch a couple of videos on YouTube. Okay, so my hair looks quite disgusting because I actually didn't get to wash it yesterday. Um... But I thought I might show you what my burn looks like. Um, I was just like playing my guitar for a bit. Um, because and it started stinging because, um, I don't know. Like, so I think it like something happened to it last night when I was sleeping. I think it also happened the night before. Um, and it changes every day. It looks different. Something happens to it every single day. So it looks kind of like that. And, um, so yeah, right now it kind of hurts. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll get better really soon. Just, if you ever want to bake and you have, like, racks in the oven, just be really careful when you try and pull them out, because that's what happened to this. And I have a huge red mark right under my thumb. Hello, so it's just gone past 7.30 and... I am just um, planning out what my week looks like and just looking what I have to do for the weekend and also what next week looks like. Um, so there are some changes to school next week because um, the 7 to 10s are coming back and we have a new staggered timetable um, just to kind of break it up and not have so many kids um, together because of social distancing. Um, so basically for the staggered timetable, I actually start school 10 minutes earlier and um, I actually finish like 35 minutes earlier than I normally would um, on a school day, I think. I think that's 35. 
yeah, 35 minutes earlier. Um, so I end up finishing at 2.45, which is amazing, and I am so happy about that. Um, it's definitely, I would actually prefer this timetable, except not all my classes are actually the same time. So each of my, I have four periods a day, and each of um, the periods um, go for 75 minutes. But because of this dagger timetable, my last period is actually cut short by 10 minutes. So that'll be interesting just to see how that goes. Um, then some of my classes get, got cancelled next week. I think I mentioned that a bit earlier um, because the Atolls have their assessments to do. Um, so they have no class. And then, yeah, just continuing planning for a lot of things. And then I just made this like huge list of things that I was trying to do um, on this like cute cardboard. It's not really cardboard. It's like paper. It's like um, it's um that paper I used when I was making the letters. It's, so it's like printed paper, and I've had this for ages. Um, except like I don't really use some of the of the designs in it. So I just decided to take what I know I probably wouldn't use, which is unicorns, and just write stuff on the back of it, um, which is something that you will know more about soon. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've been doing today. It's been very chill. I actually went out earlier to get my band reference book binded, like spiral binded at Officeworks, because um, like a whole chunk of the book actually fell out, um, and so I had to get that bound so that um, I can actually bring it into my assessments and then I also picked up some more exercise books because my maths books are actually running out like where I write all my work in this one still has a fair bit to go but I just got a new one just in case and um, I also got some tests printed there because it was just convenient too so I have um, tests coming up for my like practice ones for my um, assessment that I can work on um, so yeah that's basically what I've done today okay so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because um, my Sunday is pretty boring and then the rest of the week at school I'm really not doing much oh by the way I should probably mention if you can hear some background noise it's actually the heater that's running it's like um the heater that's all around our house um, so yeah, I'm basically not doing anything, so that's as eventful as my week has been. Also, in my next vlog, I shall update you about this bed, if I remember. Um, but yeah, so in when I got in the shower, the skin was like kind of peeling, so then I had to just clip it off so it wouldn't hurt so much. But it is very tender because it's like new skin, so yeah. Um, so it does sting a little bit, but it's... it's all right I think for the most part um, it doesn't hurt too bad um, but yeah um, my next vlog should be exciting well, I think it's I personally think it's quite exciting and cannot wait to film it and um, get it out to you guys so stay tuned for that and I'll see you in my next vlog bye